Welcome to Norton Chemistry. Today we're going to be doing a rate of reaction revision video. I've got an exam question at the end. So stick around to learn how to apply your knowledge to exam questions. Collision theory. So for a reaction to take place, particles must collide with enough energy to overcome the activation energy, which we represent as the Ea, and collide in the correct orientation. So you can see that here we've got ammonia reacting with H plus ions, and when the lone pair on the nitrogen atom aligns with the H plus ion, then they can react to form ammonium ions, NH4 plus. But if the lone pair is facing away from the H plus ions and they collide, they won't react. And so reactions won't take place if they're not in the correct orientation. So the Boltzmann distribution is a concept that we use to represent the energy of molecules in a reaction system. On the y-axis, we have the number of molecules in the system. And on the x-axis, we have the energy of the molecules. And you can see that the area under the curve is the total number of molecules. And the area to the right of the line, which is represented as the activation energy, or Ea, is the molecules which can react if they collide in the correct orientation. The Boltzmann distribution always starts at the origin, 0, 0, because zero molecules have zero energy. And then it can never touch the x-axis after the origin, because the molecules cannot have zero energy. We can determine the effects of different conditions on the Boltzmann distribution. So for example, if we increase the temperature, then more molecules are going to have a higher energy. So this means that a large proportion of the molecules have an energy higher than that activation energy, so they can react upon collision in the correct orientation. So you can see that this line for the higher temp is lower at the start and higher at the end, because more a larger proportion of the molecules have more energy. For an increased concentration, we have the same gradient, but we simply have a higher line, which means that more molecules have higher than the activation energy, so it can react upon collision in the correct orientation. Catalysts also have effect on the Boltzmann distribution. So the activation energy shifts to the left. As you can see, EC here represents the activation energy in the presence of a catalyst. And this means that a larger proportion of the reactant molecules have the activation energy. So we can determine the rate of reaction using this equation. So the rate is equal to the change in concentration over time. And the units that we use for rate is mole per dm cubed per second, because the change in concentration is measured in mole per dm cubed, and the time is, of course, measured in seconds. So there's some important factors affecting the rate of reaction. So we've got catalysts. So as you can see in this diagram, the activation energy in the presence of a catalyst is decreased, because catalysts find an alternative reaction pathway without themselves being used up. There's two types of catalysts. Homogeneous catalysts, which are in the same physical state as reactants. So they react to form an intermediate and are regenerated. So, for example, phosphoric acid in the hydration of alkenes. And then we have heterogeneous catalysts, which have a different physical state from the reactants, and they're usually solid. And the reactants adsorb, which means they weakly bond to the surface of the catalyst. Then they desorb. So, for example, platinum in catalytic converters is a heterogeneous catalyst. Because nitrogen monoxide and carbon monoxide adsorb to the surface of the catalyst react to form nitrogen and carbon dioxide and then desorb, so leave the surface of the catalyst. So there's some important benefits of catalysts in industry. They mean a lower demand for fossil fuels because there's reduced energy use, which means lower costs as well. We can calculate the rate of reaction using continuous monitoring, which is recording the amount of a reactant or a product at regular time intervals. And we can do this by three main methods, gas collection, using the gas syringe and we measure the volume of gas formed. Mass loss, where we use a mass balance to measure the mass as a gas forms. So as a gas evolves, it leaves the reaction mixture and that decreases the mass. And then we have colorimetry as well, which is where the concentration change is monitored by measuring the absorbance of light by a sample. So what a colorimeter does is it shines light through a sample and it measures how much light is absorbed by the sample. So the higher the concentration of a sample, the higher the absorbance will be. So rate graphs, we can use tangents to calculate the rate of a curved graph and the gradient of the graph is equal to the rate. So as you can see, the change in Y divided by the change in X means the change in concentration divided by the time, which is equal to the rate. So we've got an exam question. Using the Boltzmann distribution model, explain how the rate of reaction is affected by temperature. You are provided with the axes below, which should be labelled. So that's important, we need to remember to label the axis. So on the y-axis, remember, we have the number of molecules. And on the x-axis, we have the energy. And then a Boltzmann distribution, we know, always starts at 0, 0, so the origin. And it increases like this, and then peaks and decreases. As the number of molecules increases, the energy decreases. So that's our lower temperature. And then we can draw a Boltzmann distribution for a higher temperature. So it's lower at the start and higher at the end. And then we want to label our activation energy, or Ea. So we can see that a large proportion of the reactant molecules will react upon collision in the correct orientation because they have the required Ea, or activation energy.
Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my revision video on Hess's Law and Hess Cycles, which should be in the bottom right hand corner now. You can also check out my website to purchase my notes and flashcards. The link will be in the description below. <laughs>